was born in uh, Hong Kong in a very uh, small village in Sai Kong and uh, my family background is actually uh, from a farming farming background. I remember I used to follow my grandfather for fishing and then one of the industry around the village is a fishing farming and that's my basic my family background and then uh, I'm start uh, taking interest uh, with my grandfather chefing and remember my grandfather always uh, cooked uh, seafood for me and after he's gone fishing and also he caught some uh, fresh water crabs from the river I really like seafood and then uh, that's how I become uh, start interesting into cooking and I graduate primary school and then I went on to yeah, about uh, two and a half years middle school then I need to come over to join my father in England because he has a takeaway and restaurant in uh, Plymouth and then that's the reason uh, why I come over because he, uh, he wanted me to help in this uh, takeaway. I was 17 I stopped learning uh, how to cook from my grandfather because my grandparents are working uh, along with my father in his uh, takeaway and then I start learning cooking from my grandfather. First dish I learned from my grandfather is how to do uh, fried rice, uh, Chinese fried rice. That's how I started my learning, learning from, from cooking Chinese. And my father take away also to fish and chip. So at the same time, I do learn some Western as well as the Chinese cooking. And then after a while, after working, uh, in Cornwall for about four years, I saved enough money, applied for university places in uh, Midland, and luckily applied for the for the course that I'm also interested, which is in the IT business. So it was called the title of the degree course is called Computer System and Control Engineering, which is a computer technical degree. Good friend of mine from the uni, and he invited me to join the company work in the IT business. Eventually, I went back to Hong Kong to join my uh, ex-university uh, colleague and join his company as a working partner in the IT business. So, a uh, company is actually as a fun one of doing a barcode business in Hong Kong. So, that's well before supermarket using the barcode scanner, using the barcode technology. We are the fun one and because we have about all uni uh, graduate, four from uh, England University graduate, one from Canada and one from Hong Kong University. We started the business as a six graduate and we only employ a few people because it's a new company. That is in, back in 1989 when I joined the company. I joined the company after the company was formed one year later. I didn't join the company when it started. I quite enjoy working for the company because I was in charge of the marketing and sales side so that gave me the opportunity to travel because I love traveling as well. For example, I often travel to China, Japan, USA and England as well because I enjoy meeting people because I my traveling I also have the opportunity to to enjoy different cuisine, different countries cuisine because I just love food. So that also the job I enjoy about, about eight years because of when 1997 arrived, there's a big decision I need to make because Hong Kong is going to return to China. At that time, my two uh, sons, uh, one is about uh, seven, one is four. So me and my wife discussed, we need to make a decision whether we should stay here because of 1997 uh, situation and also the, the age for my two sons is either to move, for them to move to England, move back to England so that they can uh, have the better education in England. That's where I got my degree from. So at the end, and then we decide to move back. So when I move back, First of all, I moved back to Ireland and also had an IT in the IT industry as well for about for company uh, on 
my company for about two years. The company decided to move somewhere else, move back to Asia. Eventually, I bought uh, my auntie's Chinese takeaway business because it was going to be time. So that's how I started my own business in 2000. We started our first catering business by takeaway. So because my wife is also a good cook, her background is also a, a catering background because her father has a restaurant in Hong Kong. So we know we both have experience background. So we both know we're going to be successful in this catering business. So we started takeaway in 2000 and then three years later we won uh, to have a restaurant. That's always my passion to have my own restaurant. So we opened the first restaurant in 2003. From 2003, I can say my restaurant is quite reputated in around the area because no other restaurant have this type of theme. It's a quite a modern and also with a bit of Chinese character as well. So we are, we are doing quite good. So a lot of friends ask me, Robbie, you've been uh, cooking Chinese food for so many years. So what is the secret to be a good Chinese chef? A simple answer to that will be basically is the experience of cooking. Also cooking in different uh, restaurants. The more places you work, the more experience you get in Chinese cooking. And Chinese cooking in a way is quite complicated because it's a, China is a huge country. So we have North, South, West, East, you know, because it's so big. So Every region has the regional cooking. For Chinese cooking, basically we can divide to three main types. North, the East, and West. Also often, because the northern side of the country are so cold, so most of the food over there is spicy hot. Because they, in the cold weather, they get something spicy, they will feel warmer. And, uh, and the East and the West, like Hong Kong, they are more like more non-spicy food and they like some kind of swim style or stir-fried dish that's basically different for Chinese cooking but in Chinese cooking also the presentation you might need a bit of carving skill like by like making a carrot into a flower or even more authentic would be uh, making a, a, a carrot into a thin neck and then we went on to 2008, I want to open another new concept restaurant. I took the gamble, go into a big city in Bristol. I understand it, any business can be a risk. That's about half a million for the opening. But unfortunately, during that year is a global recession. So I need to close the business within about seven, eight months. So I lost some money. I suffered depression because there's a big financial loss. And it's also my, I can't accept my failure because of my two other business was so successful. And then luckily, uh, my wife was supportive. Then I recover uh, after a year and then I picked up myself. And after the failure in Bristol, so I need to back to manage my other two business. Because of the financial problem, I need to work even harder. So I worked very hard for the restaurant business for a few years until 2016 but unfortunately my uh, beloved bride passed away of cancer again I fell into depression for uh, one, day, one year and then I decide to sell my restaurant because I think I need to take a break eventually sold all my business in 2018 and decide to retire about a year later, because of my love and passion of cooking, I go to Paris and to, to learn the French cuisine because French cuisine always the cuisine I would like to learn because they have the reputation of the world best cuisine in the world. I got the opportunity to live so close to Paris, England, so I, I went there four times to to learn the different courses of the cuisine, like starter, the main can be served. And also, I like to learn the Spanish cooking as well. As Spanish cooking, uh, one of the dish often like is the seafood paella, which actually I start cooking that myself after uh, uh, been to a holiday in Spain about 
had hundreds of years ago. So I always uh, try to explore what is the way the Spanish would cook the Spanish seafood paella. And then I got a opportunity, got a job offer in a Spanish restaurant. So I actually worked in a Spanish restaurant for a short while and see how the Spanish head chef will cook the Spanish uh, dishes. Apart from seafood paella, I also learned other Spanish cuisine as well. The similar way in French cooking and Chinese cooking, both uh, preparation will take quite a long time, but the actual cooking time is very different. So for Chinese cooking, it's, if it is a stir-fry cuisine, it's very quick. So they cook the dish within five minutes. But in French cuisine, it's very different. The French cuisine tend to be a lot of slow cooking because slow cooking also the presentation they treat it as an art so the way they present the food is kind of need to present in a way to look beautiful when you just look at the cuisine you want to eat it so that's the that's the way the french people love to present the french cuisine also the plate is very big but the actual and to put on the on the tray is a very small portion. That's why they have so many courses. I would like to pass on my uh, cooking skill to other people. I actually started a YouTube cooking channel and name it Ho Can Cook. That's the slogan of, of my cooking channel. In Ho Can Cook YouTube, not only teaching people how to cook Chinese, I also teach them the cuisine I learned from from Paris and from the Spanish restaurant as well. I think my always my ambition to be a TV chef, to have my own cooking program. That would be, I can call a compete of my cooking story. Hello, that's the end of my life story for Hong Kong Cook. Uh, I hope uh, you will enjoy it and thanks for watching. Bye bye.